All right, what's up everybody? How's it going? It's Berk, aka Dancewait here, and welcome to another live live stream in which I continue my run of Final Fantasy X with the Sphere Grid Randomizer mod. So, as always, first of all, let's do the old mic check. Make sure everybody can hear me and you can hear the game. I have been doing a ton of um, rebirth recording, and so I need to I needed to readjust some settings back to streaming again. But hopefully everything is fine. And so yes, much like the previous session, we will not be discussing rebirth in this live stream. Uh, for anyone curious, I will be uploading like a general like thoughts and impressions video because I don't want people to have to wait for basically months on the channel to kind of see what I made of the game. And so I'm currently answering questions about the game on uh, my social media, on Instagram, at dansgo 8 But for the YouTube channel, I will be uploading uh, a video just giving you guys a feel for what I made of the game. And so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. So yeah, for that stuff, please, uh, there's, it's such a huge game. There's still a lot of people playing through it. Uh, most of us still are. And so please no rebirth discussion in the chat to avoid spoilers for people. So yeah, that's uh, with that disclaimer out of the way, I think we can get back into things. At the end of the last session, things really started to get more interesting here. Um, it, it had been pretty light work so far, but <clears throat> we met stuff like uh, the Malbro in the last session and things got more difficult. And so this session, things are gonna ramp up. Like Gagazette is a tough one. Um, Joe, I know you think it's it's probably funny, but just don't like don't tempt people with that stuff. Seriously, just leave it alone. Like, don't need to make jokes and stuff about it either. Let's just leave rebirth and any talk of that stuff out of here. The game's too good. Let's enjoy it. Right. What was I saying? Um, yeah, things were getting more difficult, and I think the Malbro almost killed us. Kimari came in clutch right in the last second and saved the day. And Gagazette is a place where the difficulty is going to ramp up even more. So I think we're going to face more and more enemies that we're going to struggle to defeat. And we're probably going to see uh, game overs in this session, potentially. We were very close in the last session. And this session, I think it could happen. So we will see. So for that reason, I'm going to be a bit careful here. Um, I think, well, I've still got things like Evade Encounter. I'm just thinking is now the time to kind of commit and customize it into, onto something. Maybe now is the time. I just don't have very good weapons to do it with. KH Mixer, congrats on 35 months of membership. And well, you've been a You've been a friend of the channel for way longer than that. So normally, I've, at this stage, I probably would have given Evade Encounter to uh, Riku here with the flexible arm. But it's like, it's just not that useful in this run. Her strength is okay. It's okay-ish. Maybe I should just give it to her as like an insurance policy. I think the more people that have Evade Encounter, the better. Not stayed. Well, that still works. SOF. Shell. Flee, focus, double cast. Null frost, slow. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a pretty bad distribution of abilities here. I'm not too sure. Obviously, I want to give Tidus one, but he just doesn't have like a good base weapon to use it on. So it's a bit tough. I think we'll see how we go and kind of move on from there. Okay, so let's get out of here first. Um, gonna take the teleporter out, but I'll probably get into an encounter first. I think this is the first time we face one of these in here, actually. Mm. I assume these guys probably work the same way as Defender X. Let's see if they do. They don't. There you go. So Defender X is unique in that sense. <laughs> That's a nice start to the sesh. So 
Yep. Looks a lot like Defender X. Probably has the same moveset, but Provoke doesn't work in the same way. So that's kind of important. But I think it attacks enemies one at a time, and so hopefully it means it's not going to be a big threat. <laughs> yeah, Defender Z took that personally. Is this X or Z? Which one is this? It's just Defender. Z is the one in Zanakin, I think. That should help. I don't think Haymaker misses, but the normal attacks would at least. But I think damage output is going to start to become the main issue here. Like, as we start to get enemies that have like 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 appearing a bit more regularly, it's, it's going to become more difficult to take all of that out. slow. Yeah, okay, we got this. So a lot of work to do in this session. We might not make it super far, honestly, depending on how things go. No time to waste. Let's go. And I think I've got to remember to save quite regularly. And I'll swap characters, heal, all of that stuff. It's all going to come into play. Uh, more so in this session, I think. Hopefully no more encounters. Okay. Yeah, definitely this is a session where I've got to try my best to save. If I go past the save sphere without saving, then chat needs to definitely remind me. As JDHD comes in with five memberships. Thank you so much. <laughs> Psych gets another membership. Good stuff. Psych well, well on his way to becoming uh, a matron <laughs> just from gifted memberships. Now, we wanted stamina tablets. We still haven't got one at this point. It would be nice, but I've just I've not had very good luck with this stuff so far. Yeah, so for an upcoming fight, it would have been nice. Yeah, surely you're not too far away from a gold ore in sight. Must be pretty close. Okay. So there's going to be a lot of scenes happening, obviously, as well. First time through Gagazette. Some more singing. Sometimes Yuna would just stare off into the distance. I finally understood why. She was saying goodbye to the places she'd never see again. Yeah, that bit is sad, man. Deadly Pain, welcome to the live live streams. Glad you could catch one. And I love donuts. Welcome to the stream as well. Good to see you here. And yes, please, we're going to get the Gagazette music soon. Such a good track. I agree. It's, it's one of the best pieces of environmental music in this game. Dare I say, in any Final Fantasy. Oh boy, here we go. Summon Yuna and Guardians. Leave here at once. Yeah, I think you can make an argument this track Makes it into like the top 10, 15 environmental music in Final Fantasy history. Land, sacred mountain of heaven. 
The mountain will not bear the footsteps of infidels. Infidel. Enemy of Yevon is enemy of Ronzo. Leave, traitors! I have cast aside Yevon. I... I follow the temple no more. Then you will die by those words. So be it. Yevon has warped the teachings and betrayed us all. Nothing but a bunch of low-down tricksters, eh? Love yeah, that line. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> this moment. We have no regrets. Blasphemers! Blasphemers! A summoner and her guardians. Lord Kelgranzo, if I may. Have you not also turned your back on Bavel? But still, you guard Gagazet as a Ronso, not a Maester. Well said, Orin. is much the same. Uh, Elder Kelk. Yeah, it is kind of funny how tiny Kimari is. Run, run them asunder. Compared to his Ronso brothers. <laughs> no escape! Not one! No, we will not flee. We will fight and continue on. You have been branded a traitor, but still you would fight sin. Great Yuna moment here. Lost to the temple, hated by the people, yet you continue your pilgrimage? Everything lost. What do you fight for? I fight for Spira. Music well timed too, of course. The people long for the calm. I can give it to them. It's all I can give. Defeating sin, ending pain. This I can do. Defeat it. Even sacrificing yourself. Ronzo, let them pass. Summoner Yuna, your will is stronger than steel. Tempered steel that even the mightiest Ronzo could not hope to bend. Yuna, we bow to your will. Now go. Yeah, great scene. The sacred heights of Gagazet welcome you. But the first time through in terms of gameplay is a little bit hellish through Gagazet, but this like we intro, thank you. brilliant. Jacob, thank you for the gifted membership. Appreciate that. Toby, good to see you in the chat, mate. Glad you could join us and glad you're enjoying your collaborative playthrough. Final Fantasy X. And Meta, thank you for the gifted memberships as well. Appreciate that. And yes, Titus and Waka in the background of that scene <laughs> is brilliant. I think this has always been Yuna's reasoning behind embarking on her pilgrimage, fighting for the people of Spira. She just thought that following Yevon were one and the same. Yeah, I think so. For sure. <sighs> My neck's hurting. Xanarkin's on the other side. Huh. Yeah? You're home, yeah? As if you believed me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I do. The one on the other side here is probably just a pile of rubble, yeah? But somewhere out there is your Xanakin. Somewhere, yeah? Yeah, you'll be home soon enough. I hope you're right. Yeah, cheer up. Let's do this. Yeah, things have come along a lot. Uh, the way that Walker's trying to obviously support him now. In terms of the whole like him being from Zanaka thing. It's just a little farther now. Yuna's grown stronger. Stronger, huh? I'd say it's more like she's driven, don't you think? <laughs> no, you're never right, That's Titus. That's why she's strong. She's still pressing forward. When weak people are driven, they can't go far before they break. She keeps going forward. Because she is strong. 
Yeah, fair play. It is as I thought. What is? Yevon is in turmoil. Micah tries to keep it whole, but it crumbles around him. Look, I couldn't care less what happens to Yevon. Because you are not of this world. <laughs> to those who truly believe in the teachings, a time of much pain is coming. Just great sets of dialogue here from everybody. Like, I really like Lulu's whole driven versus strong. Uh, Oren, you are not of this world. A time of great pain is coming. Just really good stuff. You think of anything yet? Right, okay. So now it's literally Biran and Yenke, right? What is the situation here? <laughs> is there anything worth getting here? Now we do have two free slots. These are expensive and once has really good gear. So I'm not sure if it's just worth waiting, but these have some nice empty slots available too. Hmm. I increasingly feel like I need some free slotted armor, but sorry, weapons, but do I have a return sphere? I don't, right? Yeah. The fir the first strike at the moment is too important. If I could have like a first strike plus evading counter combo, I'd probably go for that. But at the moment, I wouldn't. Meta, thank you for the donation. Appreciate that. How long will we be streaming for today? Uh, same as usual, about three hours. So we've still got um, a fair bit to go. I think for now, we're just going to push forward here. I know that they use some elemental stuff. So I think this is probably still the best armor for him. Um, yeah, I think it's probably best to just go with this for now. So we'll put a save in, and we'll see how we do. Okay, let's go for it. Kimari not pass. Haven't you bothered us enough? Summoner may pass. Guardians may pass. Kimari not pass. Kimari shame Ronso brothers. Kimari forget his birth. Forget his people. Forget his mountain. Little Ronso. Weakling Ronso. Mountain hate the weak. Hate the small. If you will climb, then I must prove my strength. Let's go. Think you will win? You not forget who took your horn. Never forget. Kimari never beat Brother Biran. Never win. This time, I win. I will win. Why, you... <laughs> Is this some kind of Ronso thing? Titus is brave, man. Kimari problem. Everyone else understands, but Titus was the one who was happy to just jump in for his friend. I love that. Viran, rend you asunder. Hornless, hornless. There it is. The first time I played Five Max 10, I got caught up getting all of Kimari's overdrives by finding these guys. Yeah, definitely. This is like the place to get a lot of the overdrives that you're missing. Now, uh, thankfully his HP is relatively low, so these guys don't have crazy HP. Now, I forgot what the deal was with Kimari's overdrives. Is it the case? I think he has jump as do, like by default. So we can use jump, but not seed cannon really. I think because this is like the force lancet that they make us do, something like that. So I think we can jump, right? I think we'll do that. Dan Pollard, thank you for the gifted membership. Appreciate that. Let's start with him. Throw in a jump. See how much this does. That's a pretty good start. Now, these are going to hurt a bit. Yeah. And a big question is, does Demi work? 
If Demi works, then that will help a lot. If not, then we have some more work to do. It does work. Okay, that's nice. Thankfully, his agility is also decent, so I don't think he's going to be too overpowered in terms of speed. I'm glad you're liking Final Fantasy VIII Attack only. It's been, a, it's been another super fun series. Ooh. Kimari has just been clutching this playthrough, man. That critical is big. Weak Ronzo, you're about to die, mate, but it's a well-timed white wind there. That was well-timed. Okay. I was going to say, while they're on the same side, I was planning to not attack. One hit away. And then I need to obviously heal. But for now, they're very weak. He's going to berserk himself? Yeah. Okay. Now. Is it worth throwing a remedy on him? Because he was already doing, what, like 360 damage? You know what? I think I will. Just finished your playthrough of Final Fantasy 10 for the third time. Just pure love for your work. Thank you so much. It has been 10 years. I'm sure most people in the chat uh, end up seeing that video, but yes, it has been 10 years since I uploaded the first part of the Final Fantasy X playthrough. Oh, he just recasts it. That's interesting. I don't want to spam remedies on him. Didn't realize he just recast it. Hmm. Okay. Well, Demi will do more damage than a normal attack. That's non critical, so let's go for that. These are going to hurt now. Yeah. So I have to be careful. I don't know if they can go critical. If they can, then he could kill me with them. So. Bulldoze is really the, the main issue here. Okay. So, we can land an attack. He doesn't counter. Ah, uh, yes. Elden Ring is definitely a great series for people that have kind of run out of Final Fantasy content and you're looking for new stuff. Uh, Elden Ring was one of my favorite playthroughs I ever did on the channel. And it's super long, so there's plenty of content to, to tide you over. So for now, I'm kind of hoping that I don't get a critical hit. Yes. So far, so good. Just slow and steady here. He doesn't have too many moves in his arsenal. And I think we're basically there. I never really understood the story of Elden Ring. I felt like I missed something. To be honest, I think any, it's one of those games where anyone who thinks they really understood everything their first time through, I'm very skeptical of that. <laughs> As we beat Birana Yenke. You win, Kimari Ranzo. But that's why you have channels like Varty Video, and you can go in and you can watch all of the lore and all of the speculation, and it's super fun. And there you go. There's a return sphere. I was literally talking about one. Yeah, that's all they wanted. It's tormented him his whole life just for this. Perfectly reasonable. Sacred Mount Gagazet. I honor the name of strong warrior who defeats Biran. Remember always, Gagazet, that name is... 
Kimari. Yeah, this was an unexpectedly classy move, I have to say. Mountain knows Kimari strong. Kimari may pass. Summoner! We, Ronzo, will stop pursuers from temple. Or will you? <laughs> Truly? Penance for breaking Kimari's horn long ago. We crush enemies following behind. A great line here. Kimari crushed enemies standing before. <sighs> what a legend. <laughs> you are most fortunate summoner. I thank you. Ronzo will shine your statue brightest. Uh, thank you. But I fear that no one will make a statue for a traitor such as I am. Thank you again, Meta. Appreciate that. Ronzo will make. With grand horn on head. That would be wonderful. Yeah, they need the limited edition play arts Kai of uh, Yuna with a horn on the on her head version. I wanted to see Yuna's statue too, but I wanted to see it with Yuna by my side. <laughs> yes, with Yuna by my side in the chat, please. <laughs> Right, there we go. <laughs> Love it. Damn, Meta is on a spree today. Thank you so much for the gifted membership. Basically, the whole chat's going green today. Hopefully. Um, right. What did we even get? Click the... Was there anything that on Gagazette other than Flux that could give us Holy Water? I don't think we need to buy any now. I'm slightly worried about the healing on the way up. There's quite a decent gap, I think, to the next save sphere, so we have to be careful. This is where we need to watch out. Things will get very dangerous. Okay, now... We have the question of, do we customize? Wait, what? Did I not? There you go. Yeah, do we customize evade encounter or not? Like, do we spend money on Titus, for example, to do first strike plus evade encounter, and then we just use those because we'd have to spend like a little bit of money. But let me have another look. Brett, thanks for joining us in the stream. Appreciate it. Hope you enjoy yourself today. Yeah, so I'm just debating whether I should buy like something like this, or yeah, because he doesn't. Walker still got the TKO, and I still think the TKO is going to be at least somewhat useful. So maybe buy one of these and just kind of no like stone strike or anything on there, but just first strike and evade encounter. I feel like it might be a, a clever idea. See you later, Grey Jade. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, the encounter rate on the mountain is terrible. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, I think. Ah, that's a shame. I don't know um, what the deal is with YouTube. Let me check on my end, just to make sure there's nothing weird going on. Yeah, at least from my end, everything looks okay in terms of the streaming, so apologies to anyone not having a smooth experience on YouTube. There's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. But yeah, you can hang out in the chat at least, maybe if you've got the time, and then you can check out the VODs later. If you're so inclined. Right, I think. I keep forgetting to go to equipment. Don't do that. Right. 
I'm going to go for this. I'm going to go for the first strike and invade encounter. Okay, glad that for most people it still seems okay. <laughs> yes, we do love the, the schnuggle emoji. The high pillow and a blanket. What programs do you use when streaming? I just use one called uh, OBS. So I have two like instances of OBS open. One's recording what I'm streaming, and the other one is streaming the content itself. Thankfully, because Final Fantasy X is quite a low um, intensity game for, for modern PCs, I can kind of do it all at, all at once, but not sure how well it would work for like a really intense game. But, but, Lulu gets steel. This is huge, and it comes at a very good time in the game. Cheer is good too, and holy. So you, like, Lulu goes berserk here. So much so that I'm debating whether I should make her, um, should I get, use just, use my second evade encounter for her and just make her a frontline member permanently. Because obviously to steal, you're going to need to spend some turns in the front line. I feel like without evade encounter, she's probably going to get killed too much. So I do wonder if I should use her, her evade encounter here. What do you guys think? Let's see what weapons she has. <laughs> Final Fantasy X, totally impressive, 1490. To be fair, um, I probably do need to upgrade my PC, but I'm going to try to use it for at least another year, like 18 months or so. It's just so expensive. Um, it's still chugging along fine, so it's fine for now. So we do have two extra slots here. Uh, maybe not first... It's rare to see the girls with the main encounter. Yeah. I think it's a nice kind of change up to the usual formula here to to give her a main encounter. Let's do it. Why not? <laughs> Meta, thank you again. Are you playing on the PS5 or is this PC version? This is the PC version. Everything's on PC. So just need to do a little bit of menu work because there's going to be a long climb up here and there's going to be some formidable enemies. So I think I'm going to do something I wouldn't ordinarily do. Um, I'm going to put Evade Encounter here. I think in general we'll survive. Lulu's quite an important versatile character in this challenge. And so I think having her there is going to be good. And we can basically keep her in the front line now, more so as a result. So we're going to go, I think, Tidus... Lulu and Waka front line for now. Console versions don't allow mods yet, probably. Um, I don't know how it is these days with all the jailbreaking and this, that, and the other. Okay, I think we're going to head out there now. We're going to throw in another save so we don't have to do any of this again. Okay, let's do it. Let's begin the climb up Gagazette. <laughs> All too funny. Welcome to the stream. Have you had your glass of shoe puff milk? <laughs> I never I never start a live live stream without it. Let's grab this chest here that for many years eluded me. I had no idea this chest existed. Twenty thousand gil. That's a big chunk at the moment. Could definitely use that. Okay. Summoner Yuna. One more scene. What is it this time? <laughs> yeah, agreed. E this was always unexpected. Yeah, then when this bit kicks in, I'm like, oh, wow, okay. This sounds cool. Micah's in the house. Thank you for the memberships.
Yeah, they sound great. crying face yes this choir just low-key waiting for this moment for months yes <laughs> these are like basically the first people up the mountain in forever yeah so some sneaky chests here are there no female run slopes there definitely are just at the moment for some reason it's i guess at least that choir and stuff specifically is it's more male heavy but i mean for an example you can just see the the blitzball team has uh female blitzers. Okay, let's have our first look at these guys. I think the two defenders are female uh, for the blitzers. Nuvi Ronso and Diego Ronso, if I remember correctly. And James in the house. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Appreciate that. Alright, now we have steel so we can deal with we can deal with these guys. That's going to be nice. Okay. Yeah, his magic is too weak to really affect things here. Uh, let's bring in Auron. Try and take this guy out ASAP. Right, that's going to take two hits. Mm. Let's see how well Stone Touch is working. If at all against these guys. 1593 is pretty nice. But yeah, the statuses are gonna come in more frequently as well, but have steel. Let's go. And now Waka has use, so things are gonna come together now. It was Waka that had you, right? Evade encounter. Oh, it had to be the sleeping. This guy is a little shit. But we can literally just start stealing now. Look at that. Bloody hell. Hard to hit. That's the first time I've seen Lulu use steel. Yeah, it's... I can't remember the last time, if ever, Lulu had steel in my game. But this team, I think, is looking pretty good. Its accuracy is 12. Yeah, basically, other than Waka, no one can really properly hit the wolves, or the maybe even the imps as well. So, I think that's also going to be a struggle. Like, those guys are resistant to magic as well, so it's going to be a bit of a tough combination. Right. Like, for example, this guy, I don't think I can do that much damage before... It self-destructs. It's just not going to be a thing. Mm. Also, we have the confusion problem here. So we have to take things out as quickly as possible. <laughs> so much so that I think... No, not good. Also, don't remember if they have resistance to um, petrification, but we'll see if we can at least do this. So we really have to start using the the tools here to make sure that we stay alive. Jack of no trade, welcome to the stream. I don't want to use two deaths. I have a feeling, I'm trying to remember if Evade Encounter works against their Seed Burst as well. Already a pretty nasty start here. Uh, don't really know where to start. 4,000, just so much. His attack is really weak. Let's just see how much it does again. Yeah, 453 with a critical, that's just terrible. Mm. Yeah, this is a bit of a difficult one.
Yeah, evading counter will work against that. <laughs> oh my god, the backhand slap. <laughs> That's so good. I swear I feel like I've not seen that. That backhand was insane. <laughs> that was an awesome moment, and she poisoned it as well. That's hilarious. Wow. Okay, well that helps, the fact that you can poison it. And because it was a counter attack, it doesn't grow in size, I think. I wasn't paying attention fully, but that was dope. Holy shit. <laughs> Lulu just backhanded. See no difficulty. That's nuts. Oh man, I'm going to kill it. Okay, petrification does work. Thank God for that. What does she have for this? Mm. Yeah, we're just lacking powerful fire magic, it seems, at the moment. Yeah, the slap was, was just gangster. That was amazing. Yeah, Lulu become a whole different beast right now. Evade encounter, steal, all of that stuff. Wait, so how come... Yeah, so that's what I was expecting to happen. How come she just backhanded it last time? Did, did, does anyone know why that happened? I love it, but I was confused. Like... What? <laughs> Meta, thank you once again. Counter and close range. Yeah, I mean, it's close range, but it was the same attack, no? She got hit with the same attack. That was weird. Now, does anyone have Isuna? Is the question. Maybe because it was a crit. I don't know. It's a strange one. I just don't want to use a remedy every time someone gets but he's probably going to evade this. Let's just see. Okay, good. They have a different animation if the enemy is close enough, like Waka just bashing them with his Yeah, I, I, that's the side of it I get, but I just like... I thought, I thought they got hit with the same attack, so why was it close one time and then not close the other? But whatever the case may be, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> we can just keep stealing here. Yeah, the poison helped us do the damage we needed as well. Very nice. Okay. Oh, but you can see these encounters are not gimmies. We have to keep our wits about us here to make sure we stay alive. Meta is on an absolute spree right now, <laughs> intent on turning the entire chat green. Thank you so much. Honestly, I think we're we're gonna run out of um, people who haven't got a membership at this at this rate. <laughs> okay, we don't have any fortunes for this, right? Okay, another strength boost. That's going to be welcome here. Two points, fine. Yeah, I'll definitely have a look at the emojis um, after this session. And if there's anything new available for us, I'll definitely make a community post about it. Right, this is another good encounter for Lulu. Only thing is, we have to make sure she stays alive. So Oren will do that. Um, yeah, I was going to say, they can still be petrified, so that's good. <laughs> we need a Lulu slap emote. That works. Like that. Okay. Just going to keep sentinelling. These guys hit hard. Yep, even with Sentinel, like 800 and something damage, that's a lot. There we go. So far, so good. And while picking up all of these steals, obviously, is going to be great for being able to customize stuff and to use them in battle. As Waka picked up another danger arm guard. Okay, SOS Reflect is an interesting one. 
might come in handy with something. Yeah, honestly, um, after Evade Encounter and Lulu getting Steel, my my stress level went down <laughs> for Gagas Air. I do feel like it's, it's definitely more possible now. Okay. Honestly, this is one of those encounters where maybe we kind of have to speculate to accumulate a little bit here. And by that, I mean use one of these. I think this keeps them asleep for at least like three turns or something. So now we wait. Yeah, this guy's one hit away when we're ready. So we'll just have Lulu steal until it wakes up. So we use one Dream Powder, but we're getting more back. So this is good business. Yeah, Lulu's stealing the show in this session. She's already had some highlights. <laughs> but you can see that the Dream Powder, the more powerful variant, keeps it asleep for a while. Yes, indeed. Seed in the show. Hey, this is the, the part of the game where Lulu gets increasingly kind of less and less useful, I think. So, this is great. Look at that. Okay. Hmm. She's got enough MP for two holies, I think. Yeah, it's, I think at this stage it's very much like the top characters are Tidus, Oren, Lulu, and Waka. I think those four are, are quite clearly ahead of the rest. Uh, Kimari, because of Demi, obviously he, he still has his use, but I think the others are quite clearly a different level. Okay. But keep swapping Titus in for the first strike. Yeah, might as well watch this. Hello, <laughs> Yunus. Who lives now? Hello. I hope you are well. I do like this sphere. I wonder how old you are now that you're watching this sphere. You must be very beautiful, like your mother. I wish I could see you. Oh, by the way, Jack and Oren send their regards. So far, our journey has been very entertaining. I'll bet. Of course, it is a hard journey, but I have no regrets. It is the path I have chosen. Yuna, when you have grown, you will have to find your own path. Do what you must do the way you want to do it. Doors will always open themselves to those who do. Listen close, Yuna. Your future is yours to make. Live the way you want to. Whatever way that may be, you have your father's full support. Yuna, I will always be with you. He's great. With uh, great dad checked in the background. Real, welcome to stream. Good to see you. How far in the game are we... Have you thought about what to stream next? Honestly, we still got a lot to do. Um, yes, we're at Gagazette, but like the, the things coming up are going to be increasingly more difficult. And well, um, I'm pretty sure most people are going to want to see uh, post-game stuff. And so we're going to try and probably do some Monster Arena, etc. Uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a lot of mileage here. And since it's like every couple of weeks or so, um, we're going to be streaming this for a long time. Once it's done, we'll see. I, honestly, I haven't thought that far ahead. I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll find out together. 
Are we targeting you in Alaska today? No. I'm I'm gonna Honestly, like getting past uh Flux and maybe getting to Sanctuary Keeper, that would be like at best. It's gonna be slow progress today, because these encounters are just the, they take a while to do. <laughs> Random Lulu versus Penance. Yeah, just slap Penance about. That's what we need. Now, these guys are still a problem. Just no quick way to get rid of them. Honestly, just to help me out here, it might be worth it. Ah, oh, it's immune to delay as well, the bastard. Yeah, this is trouble. The fact that they appear in doubles just makes everything way worse. Let's put one of them to sleep. I probably have to use a Dream Powder, I think, in the future. I can't take a risk with these guys. They're too dangerous. As you guys know, once that confusion hits, it's it's a problem. Maybe darkness works and so they miss. Let's have a look. It shows some resistance there, but it did get poisoned, which helps. Might die here for you. Oh, oof. Good save. Yeah, you can see the the TKO isn't like demolishing things as easily as normal. Um, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna take any chances here. I'll use a Dream Powder. Yeah, TKO is 50%, but I don't remember if these guys have any resistance to it. Right, so now that everything's asleep, it's brought it within range. Let me see what I can steal from them. I forgot. Antidote. I think the rare steal was maybe Remedy or something. Oof. The other one died from poison. Okay, I was gonna say he he hit one. I just I didn't even notice the other one dying of poison. Let's also get a steal in against this guy. Soul Spring, yeah. Okay. Cool. So can we also poison this guy? Let's see if Lulu can continue to do damage here. Yep, it works. And now we wait. I think it, it still takes a quarter cool damage. Yeah, that's good. I think it might... Um, wake up before it dies, before it dies, but we'll see. Yeah, doing well. If it takes damage one more time, I think we can just hack away the rest anyway. Oh, it's just gonna die. Yep, Lulu is absolutely crushing it at the moment. She seems to have an answer for almost everything. Nice. The Lulu live stream. Yeah, this is the Lulu session. Indeed. Yeah, some much needed accuracy. Honestly, that's one thing the randomizer has hurt Titus on. He's just, he's just not very accurate. 
Okay. Now, this is the one part of Gagazette where I always get disoriented. There's one bit where you go down first and then back up, I think. So, am I facing the right way? Is this the right way? It is, right? It should be, yes. Yeah, there's a few times where I end up going backwards in the middle part of it. Come on, not again. <sighs> yeah, I don't have much choice. I have to put them to sleep. Poison them. Like, having a double confusion risk is just too much. So first one, I'll see if I can TKO. No. There you go, three remedies. That's the rare steal. But yeah, without... Without the dream powders, this would be very hard. Um, nice. I think she, she has like auto master thief as well or something. She's got like two rare steals in a row there. Three attacks enough to take it out? Mm, maybe. I think I should bio this guy. Oh damn, Meta's been giving out all of the memberships. They weren't a member themselves yet. <laughs> Thank you for joining the Shoot Up Riders. Um. I think if there's anything else we can do here. Forgot that Waka has auto life as well. <laughs> okay, let's just wait. And then we've got enough turns now to take this guy out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do agree. I think the, the camera angle is slightly off here. Yeah. Farewell. Nice. That's how it's done. So far, so good. We're having to pull out the, the tricks here, but it's working. And we've got a haste bracer. What? What? That's a good drop. That is a good drop. Oh, look at that. Is that a second one? I thought I saw two. That is a good drop. Wow. What else can we even equip right now? Okay, we can definitely end up getting this if it's needed. Um, we could get this, theoretically. This could be like potential Unaleska armor. For something. Oh wait, we can get Master Thief? Oh shit. I totally forgot. This is why we did the um, the Remium Temple race, right? Uh, okay. Then this means that we have a look and see if we can get a Master Thief. It's, it really is the Lulu session here, man. Yeah, I think Master Thief on Lulu is a good idea. I'm just wondering, is, should I use it on this one? And then give her one more slot? Like, having the extra silence proof on there, just an added bonus. She's already got silence proof on this armor if we really need it. So maybe put it onto this and I've got one more free slot for the future. So maybe I could customize it onto this bangle. She's the only person that's ever going to need Master Thief. So. Or do we keep it for later? We might need to do some more serious stealing uh, later against more difficult enemies that might need more specific armors. So I'm still not 100% sure. But having Master Thief would be nice. Like, for example, just picking up those triple remedies, getting more dream powders in one steal. Getting more fire gems per steal. 
definitely could be useful. Doesn't want to have good armors coming up. He does, but he's already basically at the end of it. I think we'll, we'll manage for now. We'll survive for now. 